Plug in Fridays, episode two. For those who are here for the first episode, welcome back. For those who are new here, Plug in Fridays is where I take some time to discuss a QGS plugin that I like in hopes that somebody else might, you know, like to use it also in the future. If you don't know what QGS or QGS plugins are, then you can go to the video description to find links that will tell you what QGS is and what QGS plugins are. So, yeah, last week we talked about the Quick OSM plugin, which actually allows you to download OpenStreetMap data in vector format directly in QGIS. Uh, for this week, we'll look at the other end or the other data type, which is raster. So we're looking at a plugin that actually allows you to download rasters, specifically digital elevation models in QGIS. More specifically, these are SRTM or the Shuttle Radar Topography Mission Digital Elevation Models. Now, if you don't know what SRTM is, again, there's a link in the video description which will uh, lead you to more discussions about that. But basically, SRTM is a global scale digital elevation model that has undergone several enhancements over the years. Which I think the current version right now has a horizontal resolution of about one arc second or about 30 meters. You can actually download SRTM data from a lot of places online. Again, links are provided on the video description if you want to learn more about that. But QGIS has this neat little plugin aptly called SRTM Downloader that allows you to download SRTM data directly in QGIS without needing to leave the application or going to an internet browser. So let's take a look at how that works. I'll open up my, have my QGIS right here actually. And I have, if you see here, two layers. One is the unadministrative boundary layer of the province of Albay in the Philippines. And another one is simply a base map using Sentinel-2 cloudless mosaic. So for this case, I want to be able to download elevation data or DEM for, for the extent or for the province of Albay. So again, I'll be using the SRTM downloader plugin. As with most plugins, the SRTM downloader plugin can be found in the official QGIS plugin repository. So if you want to install it, we could just go to plugins, manage and install plugins, and then look for SRTM. You see here, I have it already installed in my machine. If you haven't done so, you can just, you know, click install plugin here and it would install the plugin for you. So you have also in this page, the information about the plugin, the homepage about the bug tracker, the code repository, the plugin author, as well as the version that you have. So if you have it installed already, you can run it or you can find it under plugins, SRTM downloader, SRTM downloader. And if you click that, it will open this window or the SRTM downloader window. So let's take a look at what actually are you know, the stuff or the things on this window. As you will notice, we have the extent of the area where we want to download tiles from. Uh, the north, the east, the west, and the southern extent. The easiest way to get the extent if you don't want to type it is just use the current canvas extent. So this works well if you have, for example, uh, a layer where you want to get the, the digital elevation model for, for the extent of that layer. For example, in my case, I have this administrative boundary for Albay, and I want to get SRTM data for Albay. So I what I would do is I would then just set canvas extent and it will download, once I click download the, the tiles that cover this extent. 
You can also set the output path if you want to save the data as layers on your machine or on your hard drive. But if you leave it blank, it will just be saved as temporary layers or layers in memory by QGIS. You can tell the plugin if you want to load the images to QGIS once they're uh, done downloading, or you can also tell them, you know, just, just keep it where it's safe. And then if we click the about, the about button, it just tells you information about the plugin, uh, about the SRTM downloader plugin, the author, uh, contact details about the plugin, uh, and the, the developers. Of course, the change log of the current version or the different versions of the plugin before. Now, if you have all of this and you click download, it will tell you how many images are needed to download, and it will allow it will ask you to log into a um, NASA Earth Data account. So that's something that you need to actually download data using the SRTM downloader plugin. You need a um, NASA Earth Data account, which is relatively easy to do, and I'll show it to you actually right now. So if you click on this link, it will lead you or it will open a web page where you can actually sign up for a NASA Earth Data account. And this is that web page. So again, you can register for an Earth Data login profile. Uh, you just need a username, password, some user information about yourself, the country that you're from, affiliations, and just make sure you're not a robot and register for Earth, uh, for Earth Data Login. It's relatively simple and it's relatively easy to, to have an account, really. Once you have an account, you can just plug in the account details to the SRTM Downloader plugin. So I'll put in mine. And you can choose to save your credentials. And if you click OK, then it should download the tiles for you. And you should see the progress of it downloading the tiles for you. And if you click Load Images to QGIS, it should just automatically load these tiles as they are downloaded. And it now says Download Complete. Click OK. You can close the plugin. And we can now actually see the layers that were uh, downloaded. So these are .hdt or height files. If you, the first thing you should notice is that it doesn't just cover the extent that you selected. It uh, gives you all the tiles that intersect with the extent. That is why I have these tiles that are, are really large outside of my extent, that have has really large areas outside of my extent because it intersects the extent that, that I chose. So again, these are HGT uh, files or height files. You can learn more about that um, online. And if you click on them, uh, open their properties, they are temporary files. They are in this format, the pixel size, that's around 30 meters, and it has a, no data values of negative 3 to uh, 768. And then we can uh, do what we want with this, really. We can style it, we can clip it, we can merge it, uh, depending on the use case that we need. So just to show you what we can do with the data, let's try to merge it and then style it uh, the way we want to. Uh, take note that I did not save it as physical files on my hard disk, so they're all temporary layers. But of course, you can just you know export, save them as actual files, or click on this 
uh, temporary layer button to to save the data. For me, I won't do that. I'll just do a merge. I'll select all the SRTM downloaded SRTM data. Click run, and it should output the this merged layer, right? And then I can style them. First, let me just uh, make it a transparent fill. Then I can actually now style this merge layer however way or whichever way I want. There are several ways for me to style the layer. I can you know, create a hill shade. I can you know, to create contours. Actually, zoom to layer. Those are contours based on the SRTM data. And then I could also just you know, single band through the color. And I can choose a color ramp. But QJS has a lot of, of beautiful color ramps, really. So I can actually create a new one based on the CPT CT catalog. And then you know, just choose one for topography, right? And that's just some examples of what you can do with the data that you download from the SRTM downloader plugin. And that's it for this episode of QGIS Plugin Fridays, episode two, where we talked about the SRTM downloader plugin. Again, it's a plugin that allows you to download SRTM tiles directly in QGIS. All you need is a NASA Earth Data account. Once again, thank you for watching. Do like, share, and subscribe if you want more openness data and geospatial content. And also, don't forget to comment down below if you have a plugin that you want me to feature in the future. Cheers.